Hi, so we're going to talk about the Archimedes screw. Now there's a ton of videos out there on Archimedes screw for a very simple version. Basically, you take a central rod, you get yourself a pipe, you wind the pipe in a helix, stick that, turn it, and it will pump the water up the helix from low to high. Really easy, really simple, brilliant. But unfortunately, no good for an actual generator. It won't operate in reverse. Now, an Archimedes screw that looks like an auger, so it's got a twist to it like this one, will both pump and generate water. That will act in reverse. But there aren't that many videos on how to go around making one of them, which is a bit of a pain. Now, for those who don't know, and I can't believe there isn't anybody who doesn't know, the Archimedes screw was invented by Archimedes of Syracuse, apparently to pump water out of the hold of a ship. It's used for a ton of things. Like I say, auger bits are Archimedes screws, ground augers, grain lifts, just a huge amount of things, extraordinarily useful. And of late, it has been realised that they will operate in reverse if made from a helix, and they are making generators out of them, and the generators are in fact quite impressive. So I was asked to look at uh, making an Archimedes screw. Unfortunately, the Archimedes screw as a helix is in fact quite difficult to make. That's the problem with it. There are a couple of parameters that are interesting. One is the pitch, which is the height between this and this. One section of this is, uh, isn't called a screw or a thread. It's actually a flight. And then you have the external diameter and the internal diameter. So those are the parameters of the flights of an Archimedes screw helix. Now there are flight calculators, you can actually just go on the net, put in uh, Archimedes screw flight calculator and it will calculate what you need the flat profile to look like. Because the standard methodology for this is to cut a flat profile out of some material and then stretch that profile out like you would a bring to make the actual flight. Then you put the flights on a pipe, that's exactly what I've done incidentally, and you make your screw. Now the flights themselves are usually circular, very often made from plastic, very often made from metal. And I was looking around for something that would be really, really easy to get hold of and easy to use, and I came up with this. CDs. CDs are a polycarbonate, which means that when you heat them a little bit, they will get soft and you can distort them. That temperature actually is around about 140 degrees centigrade, something around about there. Now you can see I've cut a line in there. The standard sort of approach to this is actually cut a little wedge in there. But I've cut a line for a reason that will become obvious later, so that that can actually separate. So the basic of our flight is going to be a CD with a line cut in it. Now you can make as many of these as you like. The other good thing about the CD is that central hole actually is always 15 millimeters. So certainly in the UK, 15 millimeters is the size of standard pipe. And that pipe will fit rather nicely in that central hole. So with relatively little effort, we have the essential sections of our Archimedes screw all ready for us. Now this is 15 mil plastic pipe, and that's the plastic pipe that I'm going to use, and then a whole lot of CDs with line cuts in them are going to be the basis of my Archimedes screw. Now you can do all kinds of really impressive things with Archimedes screws, including, and I'm just going to get this for you because I forgot to put it here, make one of these. This is a flight former. It's a profile specifically for the CD. You heat the CD, it has a top component to it, you press them together and you get a perfect flight every time. So you can make a flight profile if you like and that will make your flights always the same, which is kind of cool. Uh, with the male or female mode like that, you can put something around them and cast it as well. So there's lots of things you could do to make flights. And what I was doing was looking for something that was cheap, easy, and would be readily available to everybody. That does mean that there's a few sort of limitations to it, but it's really easy to do. So let's stop blabbing about it and get on and make one. Okay, so I've got a hot gun right here. It will get a little noisy because I'm about to turn that on. And I'm holding the CD in that direction, not that one. This is a metallic paint. If you try to heat it that way, that will bubble and crack. So you need to heat it that way. And all you do is give it a heat. 
to the centre, test its flexibility, doesn't take long. And then stretch it out like a spring and hold it until it cools. That's why I'm wearing gloves and it will stay in that shape. Now I need to make a whole bunch of those. Okay, so a little bit of practice, a few burnt fingers and some in the bin, you'll end up with a stack like this. And these are essentially just twisted discs. So these are the flights for the screw. Now what we've got to do, obviously, is attach them to something. I chose these CDs, remember, because they fit beautifully onto normal water pipe. So that's what we're going to use. Actually, we're going to use a bit of PEX, which is plastic pipe. Okay, so we're going to fix them on our pipe. Now I'm using this, which is PEX, and it's HDPE, and that's polycarbonate. So gluing that is actually quite a problem. Now you can get pipe in different materials, obviously. You can use metal, you can use polycarbonate. If you use polycarbonate or ABS, you can use something like solvent weld. If you solvent weld those on, that's going to be really strong. I'm doing a demonstration, so all I'm going to do is hot glue them on. Now I've put it onto the pipe so that the curl of the interior follows the pipe and then hot glue it on. Now we're doing plastic as a demonstration. The same principles hold true whether you're doing metal or plastic. If you're going to metal, use metal obviously, you're going to want to weld it. I chose this just as an example. When that one's dry, just stick the next one on. Now you'll notice that there's a little bit of overlap right there. That's why you normally cut a wedge actually in these flights, so you don't get that overlap. But that will be when we're butt welding it. Now we're not going to do that, we're going to do an easier method where we're going to put the glue on the overlap. So you will get overlaps. And it's possibly better to butt weld it, but here it makes it much, much simpler to do, and we don't have to worry about that angle when we're actually cutting it. Now, all we do now is glue around that edge. And you'll notice I've got my finger stuck between the two, just making sure that the distance stays the same. And we repeat that, progressing along the pipe with as many flights as we like. So when you put them all on, you'll notice that there's a gap right here where they overlap, and we need to join that. Now, there's a whole host of ways of joining it. All I'm going to do is put a spot of super glue and nip them together. You can heat seal them together as you go along, and that'll be a better job. If you were to take a um, soldering iron, Press them together and run the soldering iron up and down those joints, it will heat seal it together. Put a spot of glue and then maybe some um, hot glue either side just to hold those on will work just fine. And we need to do that all the way down and that will pull everything into shape. And when you've done that, that's what you end up with, a helical screw made out of CDs. Now, a quick word about these things actually. These CDs come in a variety of types, of course. These CDRs have the aluminium coating on one side and it doesn't glue particularly well, but it does scrape off really, really easily. So if you just take a knife and scrape it off, you'll remove it. And if you remove it all, there we go, you end up with a clear polycarbonate disc. Now, some of them have the coating sandwiched between and those ones are just going to glue fine. These ones, you probably do need to clean them off. Now, I paid something like £4 for 50 of them, so they're really a cheap way of getting plastic discs. We used this because it fitted on a bit of pipe, but you can always drill it out and make a wider pipe in there if you like. So there's quite a lot of things you can do with those. But, having got yourself an Archimedes screw, the next thing we can do with this is turn it into an actual generator. And that'll be another video, I think. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.